KK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on Windows 10. Ubuntu is a Ubuntu is a Linux operating system that uh, we will uh, see how we can install on Windows 10. Yeah. So first of all, you need to press uh, Windows key, and here you need to type Control Panel. So first of all, you need to go in the Control Panel, and then you can click on programs and features and once you click over here then here you'll get one option is called turn windows features on or off just click on this then you'll get this window and here you'll get one option is called windows uh, subsystem for linux same window you can uh, get uh, just press windows and here you need to type turn just you need to type a turn so Turn, then you'll get this option turn windows features on or off just click on this and you'll get the same window yeah so once you reach on this window then you scroll down and here you'll see one option is called windows subsystem for linux just select this option and click on ok so that will start processing and this will apply certain changes and after that this will ask you to restart your machine so just click on this restart now so that uh, our machine will be rebooted or just go to the here and from here also you can restart your machine yeah so just i'm going to restart my machine Once machine is rebooted then we have to press windows uh, key and then after you have to search for Microsoft Store yeah and here is the Microsoft Store go to the Microsoft Store and click on the search and here you have to search for the Linux right so here I am going to type Linux and press enter then here you can see uh, all the uh, basically Linux uh, Linux has a several flavors so all kind of uh, Linux uh, which is uh, developed by the various organi uh, organization or companies so one of them is Ubuntu you can install Ubuntu Kali Linux Ubuntu 20.04 LTS this is long term support so there are many like social Linux right so there are many Linux so here I am interested to install Ubuntu so just I am clicking on this And once you click on this then you'll get the install uh, button over here so uh, I'm already logged in with the Microsoft account so if, if you did not log in with the Microsoft account then uh, you can even skip the login logging a step and actually you'll get this installation button just click on install and here you can see now uh, Ubuntu is uh, getting downloaded you have to get you have to wait for a few minutes so here I am going to fast forward uh, this downloading process now Ubuntu installation process is completed directly we can click over here to launch Ubuntu or you can close it and press windows and search for Ubuntu right here you can see Ubuntu has been installed click on this then uh, uh, download is already done now in installation process has started so saying that installing installing uh, this may take a few minutes so we have to wait now in, in the process of installation first of all uh, this will ask you to enter the uh, unix username so here username you can take anything i am going to take as kk java and after that just press the enter then it will ask you to enter the password yeah so this same password you have to enter again when you try to print the uh, type the password then password will not be visible yeah so now you can uh, we can you can see the uh, ubuntu 
command prompt it is not the windows command prompt it is the uh, ubuntu command prompt like uh, if you go to uh, and the windows start and type cmd then you'll see this is the windows command prompt but this is different uh, than uh, uh, that uh, uh, windows command prompt this is ubuntu so let me clear this terminal yeah so now here uh, i'm going to uh, show you a few commands like here i'm going to write uh, ls uh, minus a right so this will show you the all the basic uh, uh, basically directory right few directory like uh, we have a bash rc uh, landscape right dot profile etc right these are the files uh, one of the command is called pwd uh, that is nothing but the present working directory right or current working directory if you see then here it is showing slash home slash username right so uh, within the home you can create various user so i have created the first user that is called kk java so when you install ubuntu on windows then all the windows drive uh, is uh, already mounted uh, in ubuntu operating system so if i write uh, ls space dash m n t dash and press enter then here you can see you can see the three drive c d e drive if i go to the, my windows operating system that here you can see there are three drives right c d e and same are uh, you can see over here right so you can uh, basically navigate uh, in you can go in any drive or uh, like uh, you can use the cd command right C you have to write the cd then uh, let's say i would like to uh, go in c drive then c cd slash uh, mnt slash c and press enter then just i i am entering into the c drive and here i if i write ls minus l this will list out the, all the files and folders available all the files and directory available in c drive right what you see that these name of the files which is available in my c drive right so here you have seen how we can install ubuntu as a subsystem on the windows 10 machine right so if you decided to uninstall ubuntu whatever we have uh, installed right now then just press windows keyword and search for the ubuntu ubuntu and sorry search for the ubuntu and just right click over here and here you'll get the option for uninstall so easily you can uninstall right so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next tutorial